Okay, Beanie, so I just got done talking to CJ, your son. Uh -huh. Okay? He said that you're not the favorite coach. Does that bum you out a little bit? Oh, man. Coach Ashanti then stole my son from me. I didn't even know it. <laughs> Coming out in these games, um, we're here at the state championships, right? OAC. First off, what do you think of the facility? Oh, man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Definitely one of the best in the country. Um, you know, I came up here for the first time yesterday, and I was in awe, you know, seeing the outdoor, all the fields, seeing the indoor facility, man, it's really nice. Looking at the team, you guys won pretty handily in the first round. I want to say it was against Green. Yeah. A team not too far from where you're from. Yeah, yeah. Right? My mom That's actually used to live in Green, so, you know, I'm familiar with the team in the area pretty well. So you're just a kid from Akron. Yeah, absolutely. Right? <laughs> Garfield, right? Yep, yes, sir. The Rams? What is Garfield? Yeah, Garfield Rams, Rams yeah. Okay, yep. so you, 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 you played there. I played and... Green in high school, too. Are you serious? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy to think. Uh, you guys got a lot of former Buckeye players coaching mm -hmm. and kids on the team, right? Mm -hmm. Braxton's son, the uh, uh, quarterback. Oh, sorry. Braxton's son is on Dublin. He's on Dublin. He's on Dublin. Okay. Yeah. But Stanley play against is him. our head coach. You get to uh, play against him. Yeah, potentially, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Do you too. like that? I do. Absolutely. Biggest takeaways you want your son to take from football and the lessons that it teaches you? You know, just, just learning how to be a leader, learning how to be a teammate having fun, you know, these are the times that you create those long-lasting relationships with teammates, those long-lasting and memorable moments. Um, having an opportunity to travel all the way up here to play in this great facility is good for all the kids. So something they'll remember forever. Football ends eventually. Obviously, you know that and you put at the highest level you can play. Do you still have the Cardinals single game season, rushing record for a single game? I think so. Was it 235 yards? What was it? Something like that. It was over 200 yards. Yeah, over 200 yards. In an NFL game. Yeah. It's not easy to do, but we know it comes to an end. You know it comes to right. an end, and I know that you're probably imparting that to your son a lot. Like, hey, this comes to an end eventually. Right. You had some ankle injuries. I think you got a torn torn Achilles. Injury because, man, I mean, you know, I man. Do it all. You've been there, you know. Look great, by the way. I appreciate but, it. But then it comes to an end. What do you want to impart to your kid? and to the guys who are playing with him. You know, I mean, football is a game of life. I mean, you're going to get knocked down so many different times uh, throughout the game of football, but you have to get up and be ready for the next play, and that's the same way in life. You're going to face so many different obstacles. You're going to get knocked down so many different times, but you got to get right back up. That's why I love football. It correlates to life. It translates perfectly for a lot of these young guys. Um, and just the ability to be able to learn and take it on to the next level, not the next level of the sport, but the next level of life for these individuals, um, I think is great. What do you do now for a living? Now, I raise a bunch of kids, not just my own kids, but the kids that I coach. Um, I got a, a couple of companies. Um, that's pretty much what I enjoy doing. You just, so you're just you're basically around helping kids. I am. That's helping your job. Kids and it, yeah, that's that's a pretty good job. Yeah. I'm a teacher, so okay, I'm right. with you. Uh, how important is it for to be a, a role model to, to young men, African-American men, mm -hmm. helping them understand that there are more choices in life Besides even athletics and right. school super important. Oh, it's so critical. It is so critical. You know, a lot of times, you know, people look at, you know, sports as the only sole avenue. But, you know, to me and what I try to preach is sports is just a stepping stone to whatever you want to do. It can be a catalyst to, you know, so many different relationships, so many different jobs that propel you to be the best version of yourself. Um, so I think it's critical and very important. But, you know, it's one of those deals that obviously you got a lot of kids growing up in a lot of different environments coming from a bunch of different walks of life. So they look at it, you know, through one way and one lens initially, but then it branches off of those guys uh, the further along they go. CJ told me Westerville South. Is that going to be the high school? To, no, he doesn't know yet. He doesn't even know. Okay, yeah, he's, yeah, just, yeah. he's just saying stuff 12 He likes Westerville side. South, yeah. He likes it. But yeah. to you, it's like open book, right? 100%. 100%. Wherever he goes with the core you guys have right now, I think you can win. I think you can be competitive in D1, 2, whatever division, oh, and win a state title. 100%. If these kids stay together all the way up, they will certainly win a state championship. That's for sure. If you look at like Hoban now, mm -hmm. obviously Hoban's a private school, St. Edward's a private school. Does it matter to you if it's public or private? You're a public school guy. Does it matter to you? No, it doesn't. I mean, obviously I want my kids to get a great education. I want them to get a great experience with school, with being around friends, a diverse environment. Uh, so it really doesn't matter to me, obviously. Okay, I married a lady from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Sorry to bring it up. Uh, are they allowed to go anywhere else in the Big Ten and play football or do whatever or go to school wherever they want to, or is it Buckeyes or Bust? Wherever they want to go. Wherever they want to go. Okay. Whatever makes them happy. Okay, my wife went to Kent State. That's where I met her. I was like, why don't you go to Michigan? She didn't want to. Okay, she, her school is directly across the street from the Big House. Oh, wow. It's, it's called Pioneer High School. But anyhow, right? Like a lot of people are, are anti-Michigan. If they go to Michigan, you're okay with that. 
I don't know if I'll be okay. With, I don't even know if their mama be okay with it. You know, she, she went there and ran track, but I'm, I'm sure she's probably not. Wouldn't be too thrilled about them going there. Um, so your wife ran track with Hassan? Yeah, yeah, their mama. Yeah, okay, okay, I didn't know that. Uh, so, last thing, I guess, my question is. Do you think he feels pressure on you, by you, uh, from you, or from outside people? Because, you know, you played the, for Ohio State, you played in the NFL. Do you think your kid feels that pressure? Maybe he did when he first started playing football, but now both of my sons, they have the itch. They just love playing and love being out there. I don't think whatsoever right now they feel any type of pressure. He totally, like, he, he says he loves to play because of you. Yeah. That's what he said. You heard him, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, he's yeah. a soft-spoken kid, but he said that he is. I don't think he feels that pressure. That's good. Yeah, I don't a think so either. Thing. Yeah. All right, you got anything else for me? No. Go bust. Can I, can I get a... No, 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 no. I, I didn't wear my Beanie Wallace jersey today. <laughs> All good. Was, how wild was that? It's crazy as heck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the time. Good luck to you guys. Second round opponent is... Uh, Hayes. Hayes? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the time, Coach. No problem.